guys welcome to pizza tips pro this is shrita awa here and welcome to python for beginners so let's get started with today's videos let's see today's topic so our today's topic is order of evaluation we're gonna see how to evaluate a code or a calculation in the programming so how to evaluate it and rules for evaluation so next topic is type we will see what is type uh, basically the type means uh, data types we will see different types of data types and how to recognize it and what function is used to uh, judge whether the given number or a variable is of what type so let's get started without any delay so let's get into next topic order of evaluation as we already learned about the precedence things uh, so that is here when we string operators together python must know which one to do first this is called operator precedence which operator takes precedence over the others so we just discussed about this example also we have discussed the rules what rules to be followed uh, so yeah over here parenthesis power multiplication addition left to right these things are give uh, this is the highest to lowest precedence value or sequence um for this uh, x is given this is the calculation that is to be assigned with x so we will just do it with the uh, precedence rules first the parenthesis to be considered the, no, there is no parenthesis here so the next power yeah we have one power multiplication we just do power we got the answer and then the multiplication or the division thing should be considered and then after the division we can go over the multiplication multiplication after the multiplication we give um, value to the addition after the addition even if you after that if you have some confusion what to do you just go with left to right thing uh, so yeah after doing this you got an answer 11 so you just assign the 11 to x printing x gives you answer 11 so what does type mean uh, we discussed about the data types and all in the first couple videos what does a type mean is the question that raised in your mind might be raised in your mind but that should be raised in your mind in python variables literals and constants have a type so in the python the variables which we discussed like uh, if you just give a variable name x or y or z or anything what the name or toy ben jack sally everyone everyone you just have a um, type so the python knows the difference between an integer number and a string so what difference between the integer and the string for your kind kind information so the string we will be discussing in the further videos but i have already told you that string is a group of characters for example plus means addition if something is a number and concatenate if something is a string so concatenation is a something which we will be discussing but it's nothing but putting together so if you if i say you here uh, you got you have got a um, variable name called uh, ddd it's a variable so one plus four in the in the name of a string we, the, the program gets the python gets the knowledge that it's a it's an integer so adding it gives you a value 1 plus 4 that is 5 that is a mathematical calculation but whereas if you assign e e e a, um, a variable with a string called as hello plus there so hello is enclosed with a single quote over there and there is enclosed with a single quote when you add this this python have a knowledge of this like this is a string okay so what should i do i need to concatenate so what that mean is just adding together putting together you just add them together and you just write it as hello there that's it that's it what that mean okay so yeah the type matters python knows what type everything is some operations are prohibited you cannot add one to a string right it's really meaningless thing like you cannot add an integer to the string see yeah if you have um uh, one yeah you have one or five five plus hello 
what does this mean can anyone tell me no that just means nothing so phi plus uh, hello or anything that doesn't mean anything then the python no don't know what what's happening over here so i don't know what's there so it just gives you an error trace back just go and look at thing what the stuff you made idiot it tells you that so yeah uh, you cannot add one to this thing you can ask a python what type something is by using the type function so one thing to be noted is don't ever demotivate by your errors because the errors are something which gives you some experience even though you get an error you just go back through it look after it what is a mistake what is a mistake so after you getting an errors you get a perfect experience like what is to be done what is not to be done and you will remember your errors forever so don't get frustrated and demotivated that you don't get programming but just go deep into it search compile it execute try to get executed yeah and here you have an example and of one thing uh, you can use the type function to know whether the uh, given thing is uh, which which type of thing it is so here E E E is a variable that I declared, and hello plus there. E E E plus E equals to E E E plus one. So what happened over here? Trace back most recent call last file. Uh, something something line one is. It's wrong. It's an error. Type error. So you can you have to observe over here. It is a type error. So one one very good thing about this errors is it just tells you at which line and at which point of the time you just made a mistake. So that you can easily go into that. If you don't get this and you just get an error, error, error. What you can do there? You cannot do anything. You don't know what happened to your code. If you your code might be sometimes a very very large thing and sometimes. Uh, you might have a very small thing in the small cases it is okay if you get an error you can just check whether four or five lines over there but if you have a very very big code and you get an error you what clue do you have where to search and what to do anything so that's where this is a uh, error statement is very useful thing that it lets you know at which line and at which point you just made the mistake to re to rectify it very soon and uh, you want to just know the type of ee so it's showing a string type of hello it's a string type of one it's an integer so that's where the python knows everything see the python knows the type of thing which you have just given to it so that's the thing you can uh, type matters every time because you cannot just add you need to have a proper knowledge of what type you are using and what operations that can be done with them yeah so that's it I hope you like this video and found this useful thank you for watching